What's up guys, this is Adrian Jr. of Sin City Outdoors and this video is going to be on my dad's elk hunt, the one we've been talking about for a while. So we actually went down there two different weekends to hunt for about a week total. So this is just going to be a compilation of those two trips, so hope you guys enjoy. Yeah, they are. They're running. Get ready. Shoot. Welcome to Sin City Outdoors! Fishing, hunting, and the great outdoors. Dad, it's nice in here. Come look. We ended up towing um, Adrian's little ranger behind my truck. The towing kit ended up working pretty good. There was no problems. Let's go look at these cabins that we were in. So this is the cabin we got. Usually we rough it, but we brought the whole family. So, let me show you guys inside. I like it, it looks real nice. As you can see, they obviously made it for hunters. They got towels you can use for the blood, guts, and glory, as it says right there. They got a kitchen, a little TV, heaters, nice size bathroom. Look, they even got some elk sheds up there. Just to show you what's in the area, you know? <laughs> well, I'm out here, I'm gonna be setting up traps while my dad's on his hunt. So, we're putting a trap here. So the trap's set, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some bobcat urine and a bunch of other scents around here. Try to track everything we can. Yeah. When I was done setting traps, I saw this huge jackrabbit. Looks like dinner to me. I ended up harvesting this rabbit. It was the biggest rabbit I've ever harvested, and yes, we did eat this rabbit. We're out here at our elk hunting spot. We're gonna go ahead and get up on the mountain to try to overlook some fields and stuff. This area looks great. We're seeing tons of tracks, everything. There's a big old bull right there. Huge bull within range. Where are all the cows at? So right here, is where we're just setting the glass. Uh, as you guys can see, you can see very far. That's what we like. We're gonna sit here for a little bit and see if we can spot some elk. Okay, so we spotted something really far out there. Pretty far. They kind of look like elk, but they kind of look like horses at the same time. Oh, yeah, there they are. Got some cow. We got some cow elk. Oh, yeah, they're cows. taking a break. We went out this morning, probably left about 5 o'clock. Um, from 5 o'clock we went out to a spot where we knew there was going to be elk out by some fields. As um, soon as the sun started coming up, we drove into these fields, or near them at least, and we started um, um, glassing. And, um, we were able to glass up a herd of about 15, but um, we glassed that herd of about 15, got out of the truck, got the rifle ready, started moving in on them, got within probably 50 meters of them, and that was just a herd of, of bull elk. Came up on them, um, of course we didn't take the shot, they took off running. Um, we were able to find another herd, rolled up on the herd, and that's that footage you saw when we were passing by it. All those, those spikes, another herd of spikes. But um, we'll get back out there, update you once we're back in the snow, back hunting again get this breakfast. We are way out here in the middle of nowhere. If we get stuck, there's not help for miles and miles. We'll find our frozen bodies out here. <laughs> Crazy. Look at all these tracks everywhere. 
There's even some pee, huh? We're back at the hunting area. Um, last time we came, we saw three bulls. We didn't see any cows and we have a cow tag, so we came back. We came right before it got dark, so tomorrow morning we're gonna hit it pretty good early in the morning. We have a spot where we think they're gonna be after that we'll probably come back to this area there's tracks everywhere sign um, the snow is stained with with pee so they've been here recently and um supposed to be a little storm tonight it's gonna snow six inches or so come out fresh snow tomorrow morning we'll see what what happens tomorrow Too dark to take a shot. Now we're gonna go find somewhere to sleep. Check out this coyote. Or wolf or whatever that is. That thing is huge. Go stand by it so we can see how big it is. Let's see, spread your arms out. Wow, that thing's at least your five, six. Wow, that thing's pretty big. Here's a room we stayed in for the night. Tiny little room. 50 bucks a night, not too bad. All right, we're gonna get at it. Early morning, it's about 4.30. Snowed a tiny bit, it's supposed to snow a lot more. So here we are. This is a main, main highway right here. And like six or seven inches of snow. We might need to just call this trip and start heading back towards Vegas where it's warm because this is getting crazy. There's an elk. Get the gun. Oh wait, nah, never mind. It's a white stallion. Like a roller coaster. Oh shit. These horses right here were just fighting. Didn't get the camera up quick enough. We keep thinking they're elk every time we turn a corner there's horses. These are hard conditions to glass in. You guys can see you can't even see very far. So we're mainly walking it and driving it. Hey, there he is, there he is. Right there, right there, right there. Look it, right here, right here. Oh, here he is. He's gonna stop them. We've been walking about seven or eight miles now. Yeah, breaking, we're breaking a sweat, which is not good because then it, you know, you're wet and it starts to freeze. And just because you're out here and, and you're cold doesn't mean that you don't get dehydrated. I haven't drank water. All I'm doing for water is take that top layer every once in a while and throw a handful of snow in your mouth. And keep you from getting dehydrated. Even when you're cold, you get dehydrated. You gotta keep going. Tastes pretty good too. This area looks great. That looks great. That'd be a pretty long shot downhill though. Do a lot of calculating to hit something now. There's 
storm's coming in. It's getting worse. About 30 minutes from calling this trip. As much as I hate not to fill an elk tag, I think in this situation it's necessary because we're way out here in the middle of nowhere. If something was to happen to our truck or, or anything, you know, we'd be stuck out here probably for four or five days, I would think. Brought a bunch of warheads with me. Been eating them. We'll have one. Why do you guys like eating these damn warheads? <laughs> it's torture. <laughs> oh. Burn my tongue too. Yeah. <laughs> it's just sour. <laughs> You're trying to kill me out here. Out. Just call for a search party. I'm done. I guess I could be out here four or five hours. I think you could make it back. Yeah. Oh, wait, you don't know how to drive stick, huh? <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> oh, we can make it. We better not get stuck out here. Worst case scenario, we're going to have to. Take one of your small extremities. <laughs> <laughs> Don't those two branches look like hands or arms with two hands coming out? Little nose right there, the hat on. You got a badonkey in the back. What? Sexy old tree. <laughs> what happened? You ran into your tree. Uh, no, nah, there's no sticking out my mustache. <laughs> It's all right, feels good. <laughs> all right, let's go. Yep. Get an elk, we never give up. We just keep on driving. Man, we've been walking so long, you got snow all along your shoulders. You need yeah. to shake off. <laughs> huh? You need to shake off. <laughs> oh, it's <snap. laughs> not. Finally, there's the truck. I hope it starts. That's a nice color brown you got. I thought it was an elk. Almost put a bullet inside of that truck. Yeah, it's like an inch or two. Yep. Yeah, like an inch or two since we stopped. Like we got bad news. Battery's dead. Oh, word. Huh? Go ahead, let me pop it. Oh, we are lucky. Shook the battery around a little bit, moved the cables. Barely started. Woo! That was close. Yeah, that was a close call right there. Yeah. Got a little nervous. Thought we were going to walk a couple miles to the next ranger station. All right, let's get out of here. Those are our tracks from when we came up this mountain. About eight inches of snow up here. No one else is crazy enough to come up here. But um, we're gonna call it call it a call it a day. The hunt's over. Um, drove around, saw some elk. You guys already know they are all bull elk. So we're pretty much just gonna call it, head back, go home, drink some coffee, get warm. But uh, we had a great time out here. Great time. It's not all about. You know coming out here and killing every time the odds were against us 17 percent kill rate in this area um i mean that that's out of 100 people that's what 83 people didn't kill anything so we fell into that category but it's all good came out here had a great time spent some time outdoors and uh, that's pretty much it thanks for watching and I'll see you outdoors. <laughs>